If you've ever had the misfortune of spilling a drink on your phone or dropping it into a puddle of liquid, you know full well the dreaded feeling that comes afterward, the what do I do now moment. Well don't fear, we've got two different methods designed to help you suck the moisture out of your phone and hopefully bring it back to life. The first is the do-it-yourself rice technique, and the second is a product that's been specifically designed to suck out moisture using silica beads. So we're going to soak some phones and put both methods to the test and see which one comes out on top. To start off, here's a quick rundown of the initial steps you should take when your phone gets wet. Number one, take it out of the water, duh. Two, power it off and dry the outside of the phone as thoroughly as possible with a soft towel. Three, take off the case, remove the battery cover, battery, and SIM card, drying everything with a towel along the way. Four, open up any coverings, plugs, etc. Five, if you have access to a vacuum, try using that to pull moisture off. Never use a hair dryer. Now, after you've done all of that other prep work to get the water off of it, the last step is to just put your phone into a container with whatever water absorbing substance that you're going to use. The MacGyver method is to seal some raw uncooked rice into a container with your phone. But if you plan ahead and are willing to invest a few bucks to save your phone, you can use the Beastie Bag, which uses silica beads to draw the moisture out. Now on to the testing. We decided to use these two antiques, mostly because none of our coworkers would pony up their shiny new iPhones, and also because they're a little bit more porous, and we figured any water damage they might take would be a bit more exaggerated. Both of these phones received a similar dose of liquid. We performed all the prerequisite steps of removing the covers and batteries and towel drying the phones. Now we're going to put one in the rice, and we're going to put the other one in the beastie bag. The instructions say to leave them in there from anywhere from 12 to 36 hours, depending on how wet they are. So we're gonna come back in 24 and see how they did. And for a more scientific comparison, we've soaked these two sponges in precise amounts of water, weighed them on a scale, and we're gonna give them the same 24 hour period to see which method draws the most moisture out. So here we are 24 hours later. Let's see how the phones did. After 24 hours, the two phones aren't faring so well. The Nokia we left in the rice to dry is DOA. On the other hand, however, the LG dried in the Beastie Bag did power up, but it's stuck on the boot screen. Now with the measured sponge test, we're gonna see if one of these methods is measurably better than the other. The rice container removed 4.3 grams of water from the sponge, and the Beastie Bag locked away 6.4. So after running through our experiments, we basically proved that both of these methods work just fine. Technically speaking, the silica beads in the Beastie Bag worked a little bit better. They pulled out a little bit more water. We'll give them a few extra points because it's easy and convenient and you can tuck something like this away in a glove box. But truth be told, if you don't have one of these around, rice will work just fine. And good news for our antique phones here, another 48 hours of drying time actually brought them both back to life. So if your device is ever caught in a watery situation, hopefully these steps will help revive it.